Alright, so. Got another Actron. Just got here now. Have not done anything other than open up the panel and put my gauges on. But the complaint is that no matter what he does, indoor fan runs, but it cuts out on an E9 error every time. Doesn't matter if it's cooling, heating, whatever. So I've just opened up the panel. I'm going to turn it on and see how this runs. Alright, so um, basically I just went and turned it on. I was waiting for it to turn on and it didn't even get to the point where this was running and it cut out on an E9. So normally E9, the only thing that can cause that is a high pressure or a low pressure fault. In this case, it's different. There's one more thing and it's this. So this is a three phase sequence loss like cut out. So I'm gonna see what's going on with the three phase. So these people have told me that they've just put solar on. So straight away my mind is like, okay, they've done some work on the board. So I just wanna see what's going on with the three phase power and then we'll go from there. But all of a sudden, I don't think it's a gas related fault. Two forty, two forty, two forty, two forty, two forty, two forty. I'm going to turn the power off. There's no isolator as usual, so I'm going to go find the board, turn the power off, and I will be back. Alright, the power is off. 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 Off.
in the blue. What? Okay, so basically all I did was swap two phases around and now the unit's running fine. So when they did some work to the board, they obviously switched the phase around. So on this you have power and the RY just means that it's allowing power uh, through that relay to let the system run. Alright, so I'll just explain to the customer what the go is. So they've just had the solar put on one month ago. And they actually hardly ever use this unit ever. But now that they've got solar on, they thought, why not? But then when they started to use it, it didn't work. So it all makes sense. So he's just gone and turned that off because he wants to test it on cooling. So I said that it'll definitely work on cooling, but he wants to try it anyway. So I'm like, no worries. It's just that it's, it's like a fairly, like there's no heat today. I think it's like 22 degrees inside or something. This is like a really nice setup, and I like that they put that on. But um, I don't fully understand why they put it through the, the HP terminals. Because if you look up what E9 means online, it'll say it's a pressure related fault when in this case it absolutely wasn't. But it still protects the unit. So it did its job perfectly.
Oh, that's running on cooling, fine. Alright, so my um, camera ran out of battery, so basically the story with this one is it's an old Pioneer unit, it's on its last legs. Um, he, he knows this, he just bought the house within the last year. He wants to um, get a quote to replace the whole thing, but it has been very hot and he just wants something to get it, you know, across across Christmas in the summer or whatever so I'm not here to look into this like, like at all it's just that I had one condenser fan running and it was struggling so I took that out. I just came here took it out took it back to my workshop took it apart changed the bearings came back put it back together and now it's running How yeah, good. They don't make spare parts for this, but even if they did, they don't need new parts. Just need to rebuild it. Like... Anyway, how good's that?